Now that we know how to define rules for your make file, let's discover together how to use those variables. We're quickly going to see that certain names will be complex to write, will have to be dynamic or be created from something else. It will be very practical to be able to regroup this complicated expression in a variable and then reuse it in your make file. The syntax for variable is very simple. Just write the name of the variable followed by the equal sign, then the definition of this variable. For example here, the string 42 is for the Braves. Excuse my accent. And now I have the possibility to refer to the, my variable text in my make file, which will be replaced by 42 is for the Braves. Now, notice how I choose to use capital letters for my variable. It's a norm I will ask you to respect as well. In the make file, your variable are in capital letters. Once we have this variable, we are going to want to use it. For example, I'm going to define a regle A, which will use the variable text. For this, the syntax is a little special. We are going to use dollar and then the name of the variable I want to refer to in parentheses. This way, by reading regle A, the command make will know it has to replace dollar parentheses text by 42 is for the Braves. Let's test this together. I advise you to add a shortcut for make. Know that if you invoke make without uh, arguments, the first rule encountered in your make file will be the one used. It's practical behavior to use for your default compilation rule. In my case, the first rule of my make file being regle A, if I invoke make without parameters, this regle A is the one that will be executed. Proof, echo of my variable text that will be replaced by the string 42 is for the Braves. We can see that the display on the line below corresponds well. If evidently, we can do so much more complex things with my make file variables. You will see that we can generate data, but that's something I will let you discover on your own. There are hundreds of tutorials on internet, which will teach you the basics of variables. See you soon in a moment to the rest of the lesson. We'll look at a more complete example of make file.